Hey guys, Rakala here, and well, as you can see, the quality of the show is improving uh, with the image and with the audio. This all thanks to my friend Ale from the Online, who has been helping me a lot. I want to say thanks to him. And well, as you can see, if you have watched my previous videos, I started recording with my iPad, and then I changed to using my Canon camera, and now I'm using a webcam which has a very nice resolution with the recording. And well, without further ado, I wanted to make this small video to also uh, share with you uh, one of my favorite quotes from a book. I hope you enjoy it. And well, I write down the quote right here in this book. Um, a curious story about this book is that my grandmother has 15 copies of this book, so she let me took one of them and, well, I use it mostly to, I wrote the poems that are right here and also I make some notes about what I like about this poem or this certain emotion or something like that. But anyway, uh, I wrote down here the, the poem I like, it's from, well, this poem is in the uh, mostly in the ending of uh, Genji Monogatari, which is a book uh, written by Murasaki Shikibu uh, between the 11th century and the 10th century, I think. Well, this poem is Keepsake Sky by Sakai no Hitosane, and like I said before, it's located in that book, uh, and it goes like this. Of course the sky can be a keepsake. Yet, if it can't, then why, whenever in my loneliness I think of her, do I find myself with my face turned upwards, staring at the sky? And well, I like this poem a lot because um, it makes us realize that even though hundreds of years ago, civilization was really different because right now we have these technologies, we are already all connected, we can understand still the simple things in life like human relationships and interaction and with this point we can understand that one of the biggest problems in in our society is that unable being unable to connect with others in this case he is thinking about this probably this person that was very uh, beloved by him um, but she's gone and the only thing when she thinks of her or him or whatever uh, he he starts at the sky and I think everyone can relate to that feeling that you miss someone a lot and you just see the sky and it makes you think more about them even though you can't see them in the sky it's very interesting in my opinion and I really recommend reading that book I finished it um, like one month ago it was the second part really short about 400 pages the first part is 700 pages to 800 it's very good the language is pretty difficult to understand but after you pass that 300 page it, you get more accustomed to it so maybe i will make a video about it a review or something it depends it's a very interesting book and i really recommend it a lot and well, that will be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to put some links to my previous videos right here. You can also subscribe to my channel right here. And I wanted to say that I'm making this podcast called Tandem with my friend Alejandro from Lebron Online. Uh, we talk about movies, series, comic books, books about whatever we have fun talking about. And we gave our opinion about it. So check it out and also check his channel. I'm going to put a link to his channel right here. Well... I hope you have a very good day and until the next one.